The Triple Crown News Minute for Wednesday, June 5th is presented by Niall Brennan Stables. They'll be at Barn 8 at the OBS June sale of two-year-olds and horses of racing age. That's June 12th through the 14th. Plus, coming up, we're going to talk about one of their consignments from last year that's in this year's Belmont Stakes. I'm Scott Jagal in the backyard at Belmont Park where workers are busy getting ready for Saturday's Belmont Stakes. Last night at City Field, the home of the New York Mets, before their ball game with the San Francisco Giants, they held the post position draw for the Belmont. Now, of course, going 12 furlongs in a field of 10, post position isn't that crucial. However, for one horse, you know, after drawing the rail in both the Preakness and the Derby, War of Wills trainer uh, Mark Cassie was visibly pleased that now he's drawn on the outside. In fact, he's in the nine hole. He's at two to one as the second choice, and Tacitus, the favorite in the Belmont at nine to five, is in the 10 position. So both the favorites drew outside, and Cassie said he's happy that his jockey, Tyler Gaffleone, will have plenty of options when the race begins. Our post is gonna allow Tyler to, to kind of decide where he wants to do, and, and, and if War Will comes away running and, and he's a little on the eager side, he can go with him. Um, and if he, he if if he can get War Will to relax a little bit, and there's some speed going in front, he'll tuck in behind him, and then that'll definitely get him to settle. So I think it's a great post. Other news in terms of jockey assignments and changes. Top jockey Irad Ortiz Jr. will ride Tax for the first time. He finished 14th in the Derby and was runner-up behind Tacitus in the Wood Memorial. His brother Jose Ortiz is on the favorite Tacitus, while Mike Smith gets aboard Bourbon War for the first time, and that horse will be taking blinkers off. Luis Saez, now famously known for riding maximum security in the Derby, gets aboard Everfast who closed with a flourish in the Preakness to finish second at long odds. And Javier Castellano picks up the mount on spinoff. He'll be riding that horse, trained by Todd Pletcher, for the first time. The other Todd Pletcher trainee in this race is Intrepid Hart. And he's an intriguing long shot as well, especially when you look at his pedigree. By Tappet, out of a touch gold mare named Flaming Hart. Now, Flaming Hart produced Commissioner, who finished second in the 2014 Belmont, and Touch Gold himself won the Belmont Stakes in 1997. Tappet has produced several winners, so you definitely have to keep an eye on this colt who's only raced three times. He's won two of them, finished third in the Peter Pan Stakes, and his jockey, Johnny Velasquez, believes even though the colt is still showing signs of greenness, there's a lot of upside. He's uh, well-bred, obviously, and I think uh, uh, we think that this will help him. But that's definitely an all unknown even when, when he broke his maiden. You know, he's, he's doing well, hopefully, now that uh, that race, uh, the Peter Pan's behind us, and then hopefully he's doing well enough that he can handle the distance and handle the, the competition as well. I mentioned the Bourbon War was getting blinkers off. Well, Intrepid Heart is getting blinkers on because of him racing green to increase his focus. So that's another major equipment change heading into the race. And Intrepid Heart was consigned last year by Niall Brennan Stables for $750,000 at the OBS Spring Sale, purchased by the current owners, Robert and Luana Lowe. And he breezed before that show, uh, 10 and 2 fifths seconds. Lots to like about him. And Niall Brennan Stables has produced a lot of winners throughout the years through their consignment. We appreciate their support of the Triple Crown News Minute and yours as well. We'll have another update tomorrow.